Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be comparing the 970 Pro SSD versus the 980 Pro SSD. As a disclaimer, for the test, we'll be testing on the official Chia plotter and not the Mad Max plotter. I do understand there is a Mad Max plotter and I'll do another video on that. Uh, one thing I do want to put a little twist on this is the 980 Pro is a Gen 4 SSD while the 970 Pro is a Gen 3 SSD. But today we'll be testing both on a Gen 3 platform. So it'll be on a B450 chipset motherboard. And that's why I have it here. You can see that the 970 Pro is saying you're in my house now, youngin, versus let's go old man because we'll be testing on the 970 Pro's turf on a Gen 3 platform. When I first learned about the plotting process, the 970 Pro was the first SSD that came into my mind because I feel like the, the plotting process was about sustainable speed and that's what the 970 Pro is about. It's the older generation Gen 3 SSD with MLC NAND versus the newer generation Gen 4 90 Pro with the TLC NAND. Before I look at the results, I want to talk about sustain versus peak speed, right? So to me, the plotting process is more of like a marathon. If it's a marathon, you want a marathon runner. And that's why I think 970 Pro is like a marathon runner, like Ilya Coop George. And 90 Pro is more like a sprinter, like Usain Bolt. This is a, a tough battle because, you know, in a marathon, you would think the marathon runner will win. But we'll see what a sprinter can do in this marathon. So looking at specs wise, if you look at just specs, uh, 980 Pro has a pretty good advantage even in a Gen 3 platform. These are all Gen 3 speeds. You can see that the sequential write speed, the random write and read are much higher than the 970 Pro. However, this 970 Pro's advantage here is this MLC NAND and that gives them really good sustainable speeds. Uh, another thing to look at here is, so it's tough for me to find sustained sequential write uh, benchmarks, uh, but I was able to find the read benchmarks and I think you could kind of assume what kind of sustainable write you could get looking at these. So in this chart here, there's a two different type of speed, contiguous and fragmented. Without getting into too much detail, uh, for me, contiguous is more of best case scenario and then fragmented is worst case scenario and I think for plotting is probably more worst case since it's going to go on for a couple hours. But you can see that here the 970 Pro definitely has that advantage in sustained speed. Alright so we're looking at the results here you can see that I'm just using default uh, plotting parameters 2 threads 3390 MIB it's run in the system with Ryzen 7 2700 32 gigabytes of RAM and B450 chipset. Uh, 90 Pro doing one single plot definitely has the advantage here. It's slightly less than the 970 Pro in terms of time. However, if I increase to two parallel plots, you can see that 90 Pro is starting to lose that advantage and um, it's degrading a little more than the 970 Pro here. And if I go to three parallel plots, you can see that the 970 Pro is beating out the 980 Pro. I think and that's one of the advantage of having great sustained speeds. All right, what are some takeaways here? The sustained speed matter, it matters, but I think it's more of parallel plotting, right? So going back to the Mad Max plotting, you're only doing one plot at a time. So that definitely put a different spin on things. So the 980 Pro might be better in that case. And I'll make a different video for that. Does Gen 4 platform SSD matter? I don't think that matters that much here. You can see that sustained speed results here, Gen 3 versus Gen 4, there isn't really that much of a difference and it never hits that peak speed in this Gen 4, which is about 7,000 megabytes per second. So if you have a Gen 3 platform, there's really no point upgrading to a Gen 3, unless I could be proven wrong with the uh, Mad Max plotting. Other thing to consider, 970 Pro is definitely more expensive than the 980 Pro here. However, the endurance is twice as much as the 980 Pro. The amount of plots you get, and this is based on each plot using 1.3 TBW. So you can see that you're only spending 29 cents 
per plot versus the 50 cents per plot and these prices are from Amazon as of the time I'm recording this video. One more thing I want you guys to look at is what else to consider for the SSD rate. So this is a chart of numerous SSDs or sustained sequential reads. So obviously the 970 Pro is top up here and then followed by the 980 Pro. But what I also noticed here is that this SK Hynix Gold P31 is actually looks better than the 970 Pro here slightly uh, in terms of fragmented speed, right? So this is actually a pretty good choice if you can't get 980 or 970 and this is about, I think half the price of a 970. This runs usually runs about I think $135 but I've seen where it drops down to about like 115 or so. So another interesting to see here is this SN 750. This is a pretty mainstream SSD but it's all the way here at the bottom. The specs on this SSD is pretty on par with the 970 EVO Plus. I would think it would be the same, you know, be up here with the 970 EVO Plus, but it's not. So this is something else to watch out for. I'll have the link to this chart in the description below. Um, I'll definitely do more tests on the Mad Max plotting. So look out for another video on that. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.